As the summer market is dying down, here's what that means for our local real estate market. Hey, Matt Smith here with Matt Smith Real Estate Group. And today I wanna to share with you our most recent local real estate market update for the Lake of the Ozarks real estate market. As we go through these numbers, we always like to look at five key stats to give you an update on what is going on in the real estate market. All right, let's dive right in. Let's look at stat number one. This is number of homes on the market. What does the inventory look like in the Lake of the Ozarks area? So this month, our inventory actually increased to 834 homes available compared to last month, it was around 817. Actually pretty steady month over month, but there was a slight increase. Next stat, let's dive into number of new listings that hit the market and number of closed sales. So the number of new listings was 317 new listings last month, and this month it increased slightly to 328. So number of new listings did increase. However, the number of sales, the number of homes that actually sold, decreased slightly from 225 last month to 195 this month. So what does that tell me? That tells me that there are more homes that are coming available. It says that more people are, are actually interested in selling their home and there are less buyers that are buying in today's marketplace. I really think there's a couple of reasons for that. So don't panic, don't freak out. Those reasons are, in my opinion, because it's normal summer season. People at the Lake of the Ozarks, why do they buy a lake home? so they can enjoy the summer months at the lake. And so I think they're just putting their home shopping on pause, they're worrying to go back to school, they're on vacation with their family. I really see a very, very strong market in the Lake of the Ozarks in the coming months. The next step we'll look at is the average sales price. The average sales price actually went down a little bit month over month. It slightly dropped to $425,000 for last month. The next stat we're gonna look at is average days on the market. Well, this stat tells us how long does the average home sit on the market before it sells. So this tells us the supply and demand and it helps us put the puzzle piece together of what's going on in the real estate market. Right now, homes are taking a little bit longer to sell. Last month, the average home sold in 39 days and this month it is in 52 days. So how does that affect you? Well, if you're a buyer, that may mean there's a little bit more inventory coming available. There's slightly less home selling. Maybe now is the time to negotiate a little better deal for you. And sellers, what about you? If I'm a seller right now, this is not the pandemic marketplace. There's interest rates to be concerned with, buyers that are either willing to wait or not willing to overpay for a home in today's marketplace. It is kind of causing all these stats. And so the pandemic craze of, let's just put a pie in the sky number on my house and see if it sells are over for now. That's what the these, again, the data, not the drama. That's what the data is telling us. And so it's so important that you meet with a real estate professional to price your own properly, price it professionally, and make sure that it is, it is going to get you top dollar, which is our goal. But if you overprice it, it could have negative effects on your property. So I've done a lot of content on this recently. So please check out our pages for more information on this. But I hear it all the time. Should I wait to buy a home? Is now a good time to sell? What is the real estate market going to do? And I don't have a crystal ball, but I do know the data. I do know the stats and I do no market trends. And the market is not going anywhere. What do I mean by that? Is there still people that wanna buy houses? There's still people that wanna sell houses. There are a lot of moving parts and I completely understand that. But if you look at the data, the average sales price is continually increasing. That means that there's a lot of demand. Supply and demand is a real law of physics. We all know how that works, but let's understand how that relates to the real estate market. You have less supply and you have more demand. What does that do to prices? You ask anyone, what is the problem in the real estate market? They may mention interest rates. They're probably gonna also mention lack of inventory. And that is why prices will continue to increase month over month, in my opinion. So if you want more information on that, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk further, but I just don't want you to fall into the trap that a lot of people are falling into and they're just gonna wait to buy a home. I actually saw a stat that um, Zillow had predicted home prices were going to decrease like 0.8% year over year. Zillow came out and corrected that. And now they're predicting that home prices this year are going to increase significantly across the nation. So don't believe what the media was telling us six months ago, 12 months ago. The reality of today's real estate market is home values are predicted to increase significantly. And so if you're waiting to get in a home, I'm afraid you may be waiting too long and you're gonna pay even more money than you would if you were to buy one. Now. Well, I hope all of these stats were helpful for you. We like to give you local market updates each and every month so that you can be educated and informed to make the right decisions for you and your family. So as always, we are here to be of service. If there's anything that we can do to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out to us here at Matt Smith Real Estate Group. We truly just want to help.